a chilly day today. <laughs> hey, hey y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to another home update. It's an exciting one. It's a little bit chilly out here today, but I wanted to sit down and talk to you for just a minute and give you another home update. I had some information to share. When I did my last like dedicated sit down home update, I didn't think I would have another one this soon, but I'm excited that I do and I'm excited to share it all with you. My name is Tiffany. This is our small town life. My family and I, we are in the process of buying a double wide mobile home putting it on a little bit of land that we have and starting our own little one acre homestead, trying to live a more self-sufficient, self-sustaining lifestyle. We're gonna be sharing all of that with you. As far as homesteading skills, we have some background knowledge and some things that I feel like we are versed in enough that we can share about that and share our knowledge with you. Gardening being one of those things and I have my, my wheels in my brain have been turning about a garden planning series that I'm going to be starting here very soon. And I'm excited to share all of that with you. There are going to be some homesteading skills that are going to be new to us. Um, and we're going to share all that with you too. We're going to bring you along and let you learn right alongside us. So if you're not already subscribed, we'd love to have you stick around and be part of our family around here. I upload on this channel five days a week, sharing what it looks like to live in a small town in the Southern United States. And I would love to have you as part of our family here. All right. So what's going on? What is this home update about? So when I did my last update, I told you that, I think I did, I should go back and look and see, but I'm pretty sure that I told you that we had a closing date, but then Justin had gotten sick with that dreaded C word, and so we had to postpone it, and that's what we did, but we have a closing date scheduled for next week, about six days from now while I'm sitting here filming this. That's really exciting, but that's not the most exciting news, y'all. When they called Justin, to set up this new closing date. They told him that our home was finished. It is on the lot where we went to purchase our home. I was under the impression, and I've never done this before, and I've said this before when we've talked about this whole experience, that I was kind of hesitant about how much of the fine details to share because I know it's different for everybody. I know it's not the same from one county to the next, from one state to the next, from one manufacturer to the next. And I have never purchased a mobile home before. I was under the impression that they were not gonna start on our home until after closing, like putting in the finishes that we chose and everything. And I had said that I thought that that process would be like a six to eight week process just for them to do that before it got to the lot. To them be scheduled <laughs> to come to our land but it's day it's there it's finished i'm actually vlogging today as well and we just went and looked in the windows you're going to see all of that in the next video that comes out because we went up there so i was like what really i said can i come just look in the windows <laughs> they're like yeah sure so that was a surprise that was a very big surprise when she had originally called about a closing date what was that about two weeks ago when we had to reschedule it she had mentioned your home is almost finished and i have been cautiously optimistic through this whole process and very careful while being hopeful and being excited just being very careful about setting my expectations too high especially when it comes to timeline and she had said that and I kind of, I didn't even question it. I didn't even ask for more information. Honestly, I kind of pushed it off like, mm, there was probably a misunderstanding. I don't, I don't think that was right, but it was. We went and we looked today, looked in the windows. From what I could tell, everything looked just like I'd hoped that it would. There were a few things that I really wanted to see and I couldn't, but that's okay. It was still very, very exciting. And like I said, you're gonna see all of that in the next vlog, but I wanted to sit down and share this with you today. That also means that, and I've shared this a little bit, but the gentleman that's supposed to be coming to do the pad, 
he called I guess it was about a week and a half ago y'all have seen all this too if you're following along if you haven't seen some of our other home updates there's going to be a playlist down in the description box it's titled moving vlogs and there's videos on there where we were packing and moving out of our rental house there's sit down videos like this one talking about what's going on throughout this whole process go back and watch those catch up on everything that's happened but i was telling you that the guy had called about doing the pad and I went out there and I marked the corners for the house and then I had to go back and move them to adjust for the septic tank. He was actually planning to already have that done, but the weather has just not cooperated. And I think that at this stage in the process, that's probably going to be like our biggest hang up is weather. And there's nothing that anybody can do about that. And I'm telling myself that and I'm not gonna get upset over that. Now, if the weather, does cooperate and the ground does dry out and then it's still not getting done that's a different story but it's just not worked out it's just been too wet and he's not been able to do it but hopefully very soon hopefully the ground will dry out enough that he can get out there and get the pad done and then they'll be able to set up delivery for the house i do have some questions to get answered um, as far as septic and water line and again i know this can be different in different areas but to figure out exactly i already have someone lined up to come and do the septic tank the perk test is already done we are planning to lay the water line ourselves. i've got family members with experience doing that i'm gonna get out there get my hands dirty and help so we're planning on getting started on that soon driveway we've decided needs to wait until after the home is there just so that nothing gets messed up and that just works out better and easier for everybody and so that's kind of what's coming along next like I said I've got some questions that need to be answered as far as, far as how that timeline actually needs to work out but it could be happening very soon fully aware that our house may sit on that lot for months fully aware that it may come out to our land and sit for months some of y'all have shared your stories with me stories where things got done quickly stories where it took months uh, I have family members who have purchased a mobile home in the last few years and I've heard their experiences. There's been all kinds and I appreciate every single story because it's helped me maintain a level head when it comes to timelines and those kinds of things and how different things work. Uh, and I've tried to keep my expectations at a level where I can be excited but I also don't get too disappointed. I went through a spell and I think I talked about this in the last update that I did where a timeline did get extended and it it got to me. Uh, I thought that I had my hopes not set too high, but apparently I did. And when things weren't happening, it, it got to me. I try to not get anxious and not worry too much. Give it to God. I have to wake up daily and give my life to God in this situation and in every other aspect of my life. But I'm human. I'm not perfect and it got to me and I got overwhelmed and so I've tried to really allow myself to be excited but also very realistic so thank you for sharing your short stories with me keep them coming I enjoy reading them I enjoy hearing about your experiences and how things worked for you all and I think that that's gonna be it for today I just wanted to share that with you and kind of share my excitement that our home is finished it is sitting there, it is beautiful, and I am so stinking excited about it. Thank y'all for following along on this journey with us, being part of our family. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. I gotta go warm up. I should have put a bigger jacket on.